the outrageous accusations leveled against Planned Parenthood based on heavily doctored videos are offensive and categorically untrue. I realize, though, that the facts have never gotten in the way of these campaigns to block women from health care they need and deserve. We trust women to make these decisions in consultation with their families, their doctors, and their faith, and not by Congress. It is unacceptable that in the 21st century, women in America are routinely harassed for accessing a legal medical procedure. Doctors who provide abortion, as well as their families, often face harassment and threats of violence. And after this recent smear campaign, it's only gotten worse. These acts against women and healthcare providers don't reflect American values or the rule of law, and I hope this committee will condemn them. What I don't want to tolerate, what I don't want to become numb to, is wasting those taxpayer dollars. And as best I can tell, we're going to have a hearing here, this is an organization that doesn't need federal subsidy. Planned Parenthood is an organization with massive salaries. Ms. Richards makes nearly $600,000 a year. The affiliate the person that runs the affiliate in Minnesota, North Dakota, and South Dakota makes roughly $450,000 a year. And I could be here for a long time listing out some fairly exorbitant salaries. This is also an organization that seems to have exorbitant travel expenses. 2013, they spent more than $5 million in travel, first-class tickets, private chartered aircraft, Roughly, they're spending $14,000 a day on travel. That's a lot. That's money that isn't going to women's health care. 